Welcome to part two. Let's get started with Blender. We start with this dirt landscape I've pre-made. I've loaded in all the textures to save time. And to add snow to this, we're going to add a plane. And we're going to give it a snow material. You just load in all your textures like you normally would. Let's see. What we want to do is... See, this is our specularity map. We want to turn off color and turn on specularity color and specularity value. And let's give the size 2 by 2. So, you know what? Let's make it 3. Yeah, that looks good. So, you go to normal. Make sure it's on nor. Turn off color, and let's see, make sure, I think it looks best when uh, normal uh, factor is 0 0.2. See, so make sure normal map is on, and it's on tangent. See, if you're having the problem I'm having, see, sometimes the way it maps the texture so you go to map input, change it to Orco, see if that does anything. If not, change it to UV, go into edit mode, unwrap, and that worked. See? And, let's see. Let's change the size to 2 for this. Just because. See? Now we're going to tab into edit mode to adjust the, uh, the mesh. We're going to subdivide a few times until we get it looking like this, like a bunch of uh, polygons. So now we go to the edit window. We're going to add a modifier, shrink wrap, and we're going to shrink wrap it to object plane. Yep, it worked. See, now we add a subsurf modifier. And let's increase the offset to about let's see however big you want your snowdrifts to be. See, so four should do it. Let's collapse this, increase the levels, and set smooth. That looks good. Now, if you want realistic snow, you could probably stop here, but if you want a little bit more cartoony, maybe like a little bit added uh, light effects, go into materials, and we'll add our color ramp. Let's see, do this. You go to the materials, ramps, and color band, and you click it to turn it on, and it immediately turns everything blue. To change this, go to input down here and. Change it from shader to normal. That way it will change depending on where the camera is based on the normals and the mesh. And let's just hit tab to go into object mode. We don't really need to see it, the vertices anymore. We're done with that. Let's see, we're going to swap these two, uh, these two color stops here. We're going to move the blue to the left and the black with alpha to the right. Make sure it's all the way over. All right, and we're going to change this color to uh, something a little bit more subtle. I have it written down here. See, we want blue to be one. We want green to be let's see, eight point whatever. That's good. And red should be zero point seven. Anything really. Let's see, last. We're getting closer. Again, if you want realistic, you could stop here as well if you wanted like some kind of special lighting effects. Just to uh but if you want cartooning, you're wanna gonna go to method instead of mix, should be add. Whoa. That's a little too bright, even for a cartoony style. So what we want to do is we're gonna adjust the alpha from one to anything between 0 0.4 and 0 0.8. I'm going to go with 0 0.7. Yeah, that looks good. 
And that's our snow. All sparkly like a fake vampire. Showing these unique lighting effects to give it a nice shine. See, it looks like I could scoop it up and throw it at one of my friends. But uh, before we end, let's go into uh, uh, Blender Alpha 2.5. Uh, color ramps work a little differently in 2.5. And when I say work differently, differently, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, it's, there's some sort of serious bug going on. So let's turn on ramp in here. I've already got the textures imported. Uh, like in 2.49, uh, input from shader to normal, and you see our problem immediately. If you look at the preview right here, then uh, you see it should be blue all the way to the center, but for some reason it just stops right here. I don't know why, but same thing we do in 2.49. We switch the places of the color stops so that the black with alpha... Zero is on the right side, and the blue is on the left, and we get this. So, let's change the color. Let's see, blend should be add. And there's our snow in Blender 2.5. So this is fairly easy to implement. You know, use it in your game engine. Uh, whatever, your cartoons, uh, I don't care. It's yours to do whatever with you, please. So until my next tutorial, thanks for watching.